right. Um. Okay. Um. Yeah. Same thing from that set. Um. From that same night, I you know of trying new things. Um. I played a fail long. It was okay. But yeah. It's good. Even it's good because even though I like, I would consider that you know, not to be cocky, but that I'm probably better than some of these people I'm playing. Like, just trying to incorporate something new into your game can make it a lot more challenging. So. Um, people trying to step up their game or whatever, um, you know, even, like, a pretty simple way to, like, try and, you know, improve something is to, you know, try and incorporate something new, but just play, like, people, like, a little bit under you in terms of skill or, like, people that usually you would be comfortable beating, but, like, just try something new and, you know, be willing to lose a couple games. <laughs> but, yeah, just trying to mix up my zoning, you know, the air fireballs, you know, trying to land that palm, you know, trying to just set up, yeah, like that, like, basically with that, I'm pretty happy with the round, like, if I can land that, because, you know, I need to start looking for that more with Akuma, just, uh, setting up a palm like that, should have demon there, but, you know, it doesn't want to block, oh, is he gonna jump? Yeah, I just chill. I didn't even have to do that. <laughs> oh, random. Yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to land those palms and dive kicks. That's like one thing I'm trying to get better at. Like outside of Okazim situations, set up those demon flips. That's one thing that really separates Takedo from a lot of Akumas. Um, I mean, there's nothing wrong with having an Akuma that's, you know, really good on the ground, but I feel like, you know. Um, a lot of people, like, uh, a local player, Lud, uh, always criticizes me for, um, playing Akuma too much like he's Ryu. He says, you know, if you're gonna play Akuma like that, you might as well just play Ryu and switch characters. And I was like, well, he, and then, you know, I figured, you know, he probably has a point. I need to start utilizing more of Akuma's, you know, intricacies if, you know, I want to stick with character or else I might as well just switch. I could have gone with Stan Roundhouse there to finish the combo, I think, but... I wasn't sure at the time. But you know, just zoning. <laughs> okay. As far as um, terms go, I looked at my future schedule for classes, and I think I might be able to go to season's beatings. I might be able to. Um, so, I don't know. I just need to see how my money situation is. I gotta make sure if I have money in line, I might go. I two two exams though have of my six classes haven't been announced but for four of them I know that I should be free for that weekend so I'll have to try and see if I can make it but yeah here I was just trying to feel them out there's there's a good demon flip there that's that's what I'm looking for I kind of thought he was uppercut happy at first but um yeah, here's where the round just, like, so here, you know, I figure he's going to go for SPD or low short, and he actually completely reads me on the teleport, which was kind of shocking, considering that was the very first, like, guess of the round, and he guessed, like, the very first time that I was going to teleport, and I wasn't going to sit there, and then he dashes up back dashes on the uppercut, so that's two out of three reads, like, two out of three correct reads on his part, which is pretty smart. And then I, he goes for the ambiguous cross up low short, which was good shit. That that was a really good round for him. I I was I was, like after the teleport I was like okay, but after the uppercut read I was like yeah that's really smart. I I respect that. 
But yeah, you see the nicely spaced jump medium kick. That's something I think a lot of Kumas need to look for. That was that was a really good smart demon flip there. Because he was on his way down. He probably wasn't expecting that. A good teleport. Just going to block. Yeah, he thought I was going to uppercut or something. Oh, he thought... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see his inputs. I think he thought I was going to... Or maybe he tried to teleport. Or maybe he thought... I thought he was... He thought I was going to do a cross with Tasu. That's why I just did dump, jump in the uh, roundhouse. I don't think I tagged his jump fierces once. Here, I'm not blocking. Oh, but he fucks up. On, oh, he was trying to teleport there, I think. Judging from his inputs. Um, what else do I got? Here's one match I want to read. This guy seemed like he was doing a bunch of random shit. And, like... I don't know. He was doing a lot of random stuff. It was... It shouldn't have been this close. It was kind of bugging me. So, let me go back and watch this. And try and break it down. Okay, that was good read on the Zanshu. But yeah, I got over anxious there. And I think I tried to focus. That's how I got thrown. So, yeah, he's just facing. So, yeah, I, I jumped in short and went for the down medium kick so I wouldn't get hit by the um, spread eagle there. But, yeah, I'm getting... Yeah, okay. So, he's just playing patient. <laughs> I have no idea what inputs he was going there. I, there's that um option. There's that down medium kick. I should have known he was going to go for a spinning bird there in the corner. I shouldn't have even jumped. I should have just stayed on the ground. Okay. And he has ultra 2, so, you know. Let's just whiff punish. I thought he was going to do another bird there, so I didn't press anything on the cross up. I don't know how that missed. How that uh cross up missed. I should have done short, maybe. Yeah, I'm just playing a little... I'm playing really conservative here, but that's just because, you know, I know this Chun is ass, and I didn't want to lose this round. I just wanted to grind this one out, and I just... I'd play the next round a little more, uh... I just want to make sure I won that round, and make, next round I'll try and experiment some more. Yeah, good palm. I try to go for a counter hit setup there, but, you know, when niggas mash and if you, you have a three frame short like Sean, it's kind of hard to counter hit her. Actually, it's really hard to counter hit her. It's really hard. Unless you have like a DP, unless you do a DP setup. Lost trip guard there, that's why I swept. That seemed. I think you're just going to do it regardless, but. It looked good. Yeah, of course, gonna just throw those out. A wake up sweep. Yeah, that that one had me rolling. I was like, "Are you really serious right now?" Okay, let me give you guys one more video, and then yeah, all right, yeah, this this one is kind of close to. I mean, I was just trying stuff, but let me try and run this one back. But like I said, um, I'm probably gonna be busy for a while, so I don't know how many of these videos I'm gonna be able to do as much lately. But thanks, thanks to all the people that are subscribing, um. <laughs> I didn't figure I'd ever get over 100 subscribers on my ch channel, so, you know, that's pretty cool. I, I don't really want to be like a YouTube superstar, like fucking free one up or TKK or anything, but it's cool to have 
people I know that are, you know, following my stuff and, you know, ask me for advice and stuff, even though, you know, I'm still working on some stuff myself. Okay, I down fierce there a little late. Uh, cross up. Yup. Sweep. Yeah, I went for the um, down medium kick setup. He didn't press any buttons, so he was pretty good about not pressing buttons. A little forward under that and punish. Yup. I got him pinned here. And I noticed um, I need to be utilizing my care grabs more. People aren't afraid of my tick setups because you know they know they know what I'm gonna go for in for a grab. So you know having a little more distance for them to guess would be, help open up my counter hit game too. I think so. That's something I need to go back and look at. All right, he does burn kick. Okay. All right, just block. All right. Okay. I uh, I must have tried to jump there. I don't know. I, I don't know what happened there. I think I tried a low short. This guy's really upper overhead happy. He's like double gin. I thought that was gonna cross up, but then I second guessed myself, so I got hit by it. Yeah, that was just a lot of confusion, and I think that's how I lost uh, Joe Kim at Zambats. It's like not even a matter of like you know just too many small mistakes like overall I think I overall I knew what I was doing it's just you know sometimes against Viper if you just if you're not fully present at the time you know shit can go wrong and you can end up losing matches you shouldn't lose not to say like Joe Kim's bad or anything but I I, I beat his Viper pretty consistently like that day so it just happened to be the match that I had to play with him I lost two consecutive games which that 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 was really upsetting but yeah I tried to tech there oh yeah the input didn't come in for the tech I guess I didn't blink it right I don't know Viper is crazy man cut a little close there but yeah, I mean, I'd like to work, you know, and that's another reason why, you know, I'm probably not going to go to as many tournaments as I'd like to um, anymore is because, um, you know, I think before the last Zambat, you know, I didn't even practice because of school. So, you know, it's just I feel like there's kind of no point to go play if um, I don't get to really dissect what happened and practice um, afterwards. Like if I have no time to like try and uh digest the reasons why i lost of a previous week like what's the point of going to the next tournament if you don't you know if you can't have time to try and improve from your mistakes it's just going to be a whole bunch of stagnation and you know i feel like it's kind of a waste of time to just you know stagnate like that i don't really want that but um anyway yeah, I just want to release these videos just to uh, let everyone know what's going on um, and that I'm going to be busy for a while, but I do appreciate all the uh, subscribers, um, you know, that's that's always cool. So um, yeah, um, just keep looking out for my videos, um, I'll try and see what I can keep doing for you guys. Wow, I'm really far behind now, I'm back in the 20s. Oh, that's that's lame. Oh, yeah. JR Rodriguez pulled ahead of me. Truth God, perfect legend. Okay. Well, anyways, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, yeah. Uh, if you wanna follow me on Twitter, um, you could do that too. I'll post that my Twitter and stuff. If I don't, I, I'm not even gonna get into that shit. All right. Yeah. I'll talk to you guys later.